Hello guys, it's me Akhil. I'm back here with another video for the Redmi Note 3. Okay, as so on my last video, I showed you how to install the MIUI 10 Porter for the Redmi Note 3. On this video, I'm going to give you the review of that same ROM itself. So if you haven't watched that video, after this video, you can go and watch that video and I have uh, left the link to that video at the end of this video and the uh, link to the rooms are also in the description of my last video if you need it so let me start by showing you the uh, device uh, versions and android versions and all i am going to settings sorry uh, on setting you have the my device and over here we have the option of all specs so as you can see the model number is the redmi note 3 uh, the MIUI version is given over here the, it is the MIUI 10 beta the android version is 8.1 that's a change for us for the redmi note 3 users and my kind with a 3gb ram great and all so that's about the specs uh, of the rom and all now uh, we will get into the features of the rom so this looks and a lot like the MIUI 10 which was for the Redmi Note 3. The only difference over here is that this is audio based and ours was based on the older versions of Android. So uh, this is a quite similar to all of those. From the left you have your all current going tasks, your, if you have any sort of reminders and deliveries it will be shown over here. Then over here you have all of your all of your apps and i on my last video i showed you how to install the google uh, apps on this uh, same rom and uh, you have got your normal dialer messengers and everything got here looks all the way like the uh, miui 10 on the redmi note 3 itself so you have your recent panel which is the uh, new recent panel from the MIUI 10 and on the top you it will show you the how much RAM is available and you have the option of the split screen window over here. So the, some of the features of this room are these uh, and at the end of this video I will be giving you a verdict should you use this room as a daily driver or not so wait for that and um, this is a beta room guys there are a lot of bugs going over here and uh, you have to careful if you are using this as a daily driver. So from the top you have the shortcuts to all the options and you have your uh, brightness control. So my phone will be flickering when I change the brightness and it's a bug I know but the fix for this bug is also given by the developer. I haven't actually applied that fix because I'm not gonna keep this ROM anymore so I, I didn't thought about keeping that. Uh, sorry I didn't thought about flashing that. Uh, fixed to this phone so uh, one thing is great that the magic was pre-installed with this ROM so you didn't have to install that by yourself the another crazy support of this ROM is that it supports the full gesture uh, the back gesture is supported if you have to go back from any screen if you have to go back from the settings just swipe from the left it will take back into the it will take you back you can swipe from the right also and in order to get into the home screen just swipe from the down so it's supposed the full gesture which was in present over the redmi note 3 and it's a lot uh, you know it gives us a feeling about using an iphone x has this as a full gesture so over here i am just opening some menu and if i had to go back from this menu i will swipe from here or you can also swipe from here it's according to your preference and uh, I'm at here and I had to go back into the home screen just swipe from the down and it will get you back into your home screen so next one is the camera application this is the interface of the camera application it's at the photo mode now from the left we will start it has a video mode then it has a short video mode then we have the portrait mode uh, then the square mode is available panorama is available and even the manual mode is available where you can not just see white balance and focus and isos for your camera so a lot of features are all over here and it's sort of an inspired ui from the iphones i think it looks a lot like the iphone's uh, camera applications so anyway it could be an inspired from those 
and you have your car modes and all over here if you tap more you can pull up any of these shortcuts into the notification panel as you like so this is my review on this uh, device sorry review on this room uh, I think you can use this as a daily driver uh, I haven't actually used and much more about this one so I can't uh, you know confirm that you can use this as a daily driver but I think you can use this as a daily driver because I didn't saw any sort of big issues which restrict you from using this as a daily driver so and we have the Mi AI over here unfortunately it is our Chinese and uh, it just gives me a screen like that it worked when I booted the ROM first but no from now onwards it's not that working you have your sort of an assistant which comes from that also I think I am not connected to the networks so that's it was it is saying so guys that's me uh, it that's the review of mine on this uh, MIUI 10 portal for the Redmi Note 3 and I will be leaving a link to my tutorial video how to install this at the end of this video and you can also get the uh, ROMs link from those video and thank you guys thank you for watching if you you know like this video you know hit that red subscribe button and hit that like button because that gives me motivation to make more videos like this thank you guys thank you for watching have a nice day